Hi, my name is Victor and I'm the Director of Content with BlueDag. Today in this video, we're going to go over how to conduct an evaluation using the web portal. In a separate video, we'll go over how to conduct an evaluation using the BlueDag mobile app. What we want to do is make sure all our general information is correct, and if not, we can make changes in the Evaluation Details tab. Next, what we want to do is add a cover photo. If we click the word Edit in the Cover Photo area, a Dropbox window will appear. Here, we can drag and drop an image into the window or find the file saved on our computer. Once we find the image that we want, just select the image, click Save, and the image will automatically get imported into the evaluation. Next, we'll go over to the Findings tab. In the Findings tab, we want to start off by adding area descriptions. These area descriptions will be used to categorize the barriers that we identify within our evaluation. The area descriptions can be titled anything you choose, so you can create them in any order that you like, or have them be as detailed or as general as you want. I'll just add a few area descriptions here to the evaluation. And please note that you're not limited to the amount of area descriptions that you can add. The final area that I'll add will be the path of travel from the accessible parking. Click Save, and now I should have all my area descriptions that I need for my evaluation. Next, what I'll do is tap the plus button within the area description where I want to add the barrier. Here, we can add an image by clicking Edit, drag and dropping an image, or finding the image stored on our computer. Select the image, and then click Save. Now the image will be imported onto our blank finding page. Next, we can use the drop-down menus here to select the specific barrier issue that we encountered in our evaluation. All of our finding issues are stored here in alphabetical order. So look for the issue you need and make a selection. Once you do make a selection, if more selections are needed, additional drop-down fields will appear automatically. Once you're done selecting, you can go ahead and fill out all the remaining fields that are needed. You can add an as-built condition, change the finding text, add recommendations, edit budget ranges, set a barrier priority, include notes, even select an expected remediation date. Once you've done all that, you can hit save. Please keep in mind that it's up to you to determine how much information and how many of these fields you want to fill out. You don't have to fill out every field before you hit save. Now we'll go ahead and add another finding. We'll import the image we need as we did before and click save. But this time, instead of using the drop downs, we'll use the search function of the Bayer drop down menu. In the search field, we'll type in the term we're looking for. Then, as the results populate, we can scroll down and see what options are available to us. If we hover the mouse over the View button, a full description of what the finding issue is will be displayed. Then we can make the selection by clicking Select. After we click Select, the system will automatically populate all the drop-down menu options for us. But you can still come in here and make edits or change the fields as you see fit. And just like before, you can come in here and fill out the fields that you need and leave the ones you don't blank. Now, another way we can add findings to the evaluation is by using checklists. If I click on the checklist button in the area description that I want, the checklist selection screen will appear. All the checklist selections are sorted alphabetically. If you don't see the checklist that you need, try clicking on the Show Other Relevant Checklist button. This will show you other checklists that might be relevant that are not in the checklist group. Now I'm going to select the checklist for parking lot. Once I do, the parking lot checklist page will load up. The icon at the top left corner of the page represents the additional guidance button. If I click on that, it will show me any additional guidance associated to the question. If you click on the icon on the opposite side, it will open up the drop image window where you can add photos to the checklist. To move forward in the checklist, click next at the bottom of the page. To complete a checklist, simply select from one of the answers provided. For example, we'll select 26 to 50 parking spaces. Before we move on to the next question, we can click on the additional button icon and review the information that is provided. Keep in mind, not all questions will have additional guidance. But when we're ready, we'll go at the bottom and click next to load the next question. We can make a selection and repeat the process until we're done with the checklist. 
Please keep in mind that at any point you can go back and change any of your answers. When you're ready, click Next and follow the prompts. If you're done with the checklist, you'll have to click Save. Some checklists will give you suggestions to complete additional checklists that are usually associated with the element that's being evaluated. In this case, I'm going to select the Parking Signage Checklist. And as before, I can just continue to answer the questions as I'm prompted. You can fill out as built conditions or leave them blank. That's completely up to you. But you can also click on the top right hand corner on the image icon. Once you click it, the window will appear where you can drop an image or find the image saved on your computer. When the checklist is done, just click save. If you want to continue to add additional checklists, you can do so. Or if not, click out of that and select return to evaluation. Once you return to the evaluation, you'll want to click on the Findings tab to see all the findings that you've created. You'll notice that some of the findings have red font. Well, that indicates that those findings were created using a checklist. Now we take a look at finding number three, and we realize that it doesn't have an image. So we can click Edit, find the image we want, and follow the steps as we did before. Select the image, click Save. Now it's associated to the finding. Now we can click Save. You can also tell if a finding was created with the checklist by a checklist ID number at the top left hand corner. If we click on Finding 1, Finding 1 is actually missing that checklist ID, so I know it was created through the drop down menu. Now I'll go ahead and add another finding just for review. We'll click on the plus button in the area description we want, click Edit in the image field, select the image we want. Click Save. Go over to the Bear Finding drop down menu. Select the group. Type. Find the subtype we want. Fill out whatever fields we need. And click Save. Once you have all the findings you want in your evaluation, you can go over to the Overview tab and click on Evaluation Report to have the system generate the report for you. Thank you for watching.